And in the cemetery there were well carved tombstones. Beautiful. And as I drove past there were perhaps thousands of graves in the cemetery. And I was once again reminded of something I discovered over 20 years ago. And that is the wealthiest spot on this planet is not the diamond mines of South Africa. It's not the oil fields of Iran or Iraq. It's not the uranium mines of the Soviet Union. It's, it's not the, the oil wells of Iraq. The wealthiest spot on this planet is not the sea food of the oceans. But the wealthiest spot on this planet is right in your neighborhood. It's the cemetery. If I could mine the cemetery like you mine gold, I would be the wealthiest man on the planet. Why is the graveyard so wealthy? Why is there so much treasure in the cemetery? Why? Because buried in the cemetery are dreams that were never fulfilled. Books that were never written. Ideas that never became reality. Visions that were never manifested. There in the graveyard are paintings that were never painted. Songs that were never written. Books that we'll never read. In the cemetery are great manufacturing plants that were never built. In the cemetery are sermons that were never preached. The cemetery is pregnant with unused success. Buried in the cemetery is treasure that makes God weep. My greatest fear tonight is very simple. And that is, I am afraid that most of you in this room and in this auditorium tonight and perhaps watching this program, you are going to add to the treasure and the wealth of the cemetery. And that makes me very sad. Because buried inside of you are dreams that you still carry. Ideas that God planted in your heart that you still haven't done yet. Paintings that you've been planning to paint and books you've been thinking about writing. And paintings you keep procrastinating about. And what I'm so concerned about is we'll never see your painting. We'll never sing your song. We'll never read your book and we'll never... Oh, Operate in your business and we never experience the invention that you keep procrastinating on. I trust that you will rob the graveyard of your treasure. Yes. I pray that you will disappoint the cemetery. I pray that when the, the morgue gets your carcass, it will be empty. Yeah. <laughs> treasure. What do you call this massive treasure that's in every cemetery? It's called potential. Write the word down. Potential. Everybody say it. Potential. Say it one more time. Potential. Why is this called potential? Well, potential, I want to define it for you one more time. Potential is untapped power. Potential is unused ability. Are you ready? Potential is dormant strength. Potential is hidden power. Potential is all you could be but you haven't become yet. Potential is how far you can go in life but you haven't gone yet. Potential is who you really are, but we haven't seen you yet. Potential is everything you could be, but you haven't become it yet. Potential is all you can do, but you haven't done yet. In essence, potential is never what you've done. Please make a note of that. Potential is never what you've done. It's always what you could do, but you haven't done yet. In essence, whenever you've done something, it's no longer your potential. Therefore, potential is everything 
that is yet unused that is still within you. I am convinced that God has buried in every human being all 5.2 billion of us treasure that is yet to be tapped. Let's put it this way. If potential is not what you've done but what you could do then whatever you've done is no longer your potential. Therefore, you should never be impressed by what you've done. Because if you are impressed by what you've done, it'll stop you from doing what you could do. The greatest enemy of progress is your last success. The greatest threat to moving ahead is getting excited about where you are. Whenever you feel like what you've done is the best you could do, you just died. Come on. No matter what you've done, if it didn't kill you, there's more left. As long as you're breathing, God got something else left inside. Until you are gone, you're still pregnant. Because God sent you here. And no human being came to this planet empty. I repeat. No human came to this planet empty. You came here loaded. And you came here to make a deposit. And deposit you will make. And if you don't make, you are a generational thief. Because you stole from the next generation. My Lord. The next generation is supposed to benefit from what you came to deliver. And if you settle down on what you've done and not do what you could do, then you rob them of what you came to leave for them to enjoy. And that is why you should never allow what you've done to stop you from doing what you could do. No matter how great what you've done is, don't park. Tell your neighbor, I feel my baby moving. 